Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and I am super excited to announce that the Supercars of London YouTube channel is starting to daily vlog from today. This is the announcement video, the introduction, and I'm also going to be unveiling a new car to you on YouTube. It's already been out on Instagram and Twitter, so if you follow me on there you would have seen it. However, I just want to use this video opportunity to uh, one, do June the 1st vlog, but also explain to you why I'm doing these daily vlogs, what is the purpose of it, and why I'm starting today. Well, it's Monday and it's the first of the month, which is the perfect start. And the second reason is, what a beast. It is a Smart for Two Prime. And as you can see behind me, it is actually a beautiful specification. I'll explain more about this car in a little bit, but first, let me talk to you about the daily vlogs that are gonna be coming on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. The format will be as follows. Throughout the day, like for example today, I have been vlogging my day-to-day -day life. It is all going to be centered around car spotting in central London. Now, over the last six to 12 months, probably I haven't been in London as much as I would have liked to have been. Cars haven't been that great. I've been following all of my friends on Instagram and uh, YouTube and the cars, yes, there was a Zonda 760 VR, I think it was, and a couple of LaFerraris, but from what I gather, the verdict has been that it's been quite quiet. So I'm going to head into central London London, track down some supercars and try and liven up a bit with this beast. The daily vlogs are always going to be centered around me going into central London and finding supercars and because I haven't been supercar spotting that much over the last sort of six months or so then I thought that it would be the perfect opportunity to get myself back into this the supercar spotting I'm stuttering now it's sort of a tongue twister so for those that have missed the supercar spotting videos that have been on Supercars of London, then this is going to be the perfect introduction to 2015 summer. For those that have been following my channel more recently and haven't looked back at some of my old videos, this summer, or every summer, in London, loads of supercars come over from the Arab states, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, they all come over in incredible cars, fancy colours and very loud exhaust systems. Now, over the years I've been filming and documenting them arriving, driving around and leaving. And over the last few years the media have really picked up on the argument between the residents make it, and the cars that are making a lot of noise. And this argument has been going on for the last two or three years. So I wanted to rather than put the spotlight on the cars or the residents or the argument or the media attention as a whole, I want to take you behind the scenes of what it is actually going to be like supercar spotting in London. I know that there's the point of view vlogs from Seen Through Glass and also myself I've been doing a bit of behind the scenes vlogging in central London this year of what it's like to see cars but I want to give you that real feeling that you're on the journey with me you're on the hunt with me whether that's going to be I've got a text from someone or an Instagram there's a live update or whatever it is in central London it is the busiest time of year to see supercars so that is the reason behind my daily vlogs on a day-to-day -day basis I'm going to be vlogging throughout the day and uploading the following day so it's always going to be a day behind but follow my Instagram and Twitter Wallace PJW for all of the live updates as and when they happen that brings me on to this car now you may remember I went to Mercedes-Benz well not so long ago with Tom Exton TGE who has got the blue M3 and um, is currently in the process of buying a new car however I went into Mercedes Benz world and went straight to the smart car and looked around the new shaped smart car it's pretty much the same dimensions as, as the old one it's a little bit more bubbly and to be honest I think it looks better it looks a lot more refined what I'm going to compare it to is the baby blue Fiat 500 which is owned by my girlfriend and has appeared a few times on my YouTube videos when I'm not driving the R8 so I didn't want to drive the baby blue Fiat 500 into London, even though it's a fantastic city car with a very light steering, the fantastic fuel economy, and also it's zero um, tax congestion charge, everything like that. I sent a tweet out when I was at Mercedes-Benz World with a picture of a white one of these, I don't know whether you remember it, saying, is this the ultimate supercar spotting car? You can park it anywhere, it's very manoeuvrable, and um, it's just so easy and I've never driven a smart car I've only ever seen them and thought Do you know what they look so good they can park anywhere and it just seems like it's the most practical car ever this is the two-seater and I am going to show you around it a lot more but smart came to me and said if you think this is the ultimate supercar spotting 
have one for the week and take it into London. So that is exactly what I'm doing and is one of the reasons why I'm starting the daily vlogs from today. From today until next Monday, I have this car every single day. So I'm gonna be taking it into central London and working out whether it is the best car to see supercars. Now there's a few things that I've already learned from this car, driving it for about two or three hours and vlogging as well. One, the turning circle is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it. What I'm gonna do now is put the camera down and film it for you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was just doing donuts on full lock. There was no skidding whatsoever. <laughs> so we've turned the music down straight away and let's do a quick tour. You've got the rev range and clock here. You've got your speedo in miles around there and kilometers there. You've got the temperature outside, which is 17 degrees. Not too bad for England. And the time again there. You've got the mileage and um, the fuel, fuel consumption or how much fuel you've got there. Now this is the coolest part. You've got the radio station here, you've got this eco score, which is based on how you accelerate, how anticipatory you are with traffic. And then this is your shift. I don't really know what that is, but I got the car on 50% eco. Now I'm trying to push for 100% over the rest of the week. And that is my challenge by next Monday to give it as close to 100% as possible. I know the town driving in London isn't probably gonna help, but it's worth the go. This is all touchscreen, which is amazing. So cool. You've got menu here, which then turns it pretty much into an iPad. Multimedia, vehicle, you could probably see loads of statistics about your car. Let's have a look at multimedia. What can you do? Radio, media, pictures, video. I can stream my own videos whilst I'm driving. Now, isn't that the best thing you've ever heard? No, it's honestly the worst, <laughs> like my worst nightmare. So I'm gonna cruise back to SB Race Engineering now, continue with my daily vlog, but also head into central London this evening to try and find some supercars to liven up the supercar scene that seems to be dying in central London. And fingers crossed, we can catch some new arrivals coming over from the Middle East, so, Ladies and gentlemen, this is my new car for the next seven days. I hope you guys can join me on my journey of daily vlogs and I hope you guys can also enjoy them as well. And hopefully uh, you'll also fall in love with this car as much as I have in the last three hours of owning it. I can't believe it. There's gonna be tons of content to come. Don't worry, all of the normal videos are still gonna be coming to Supercars of London. I'm hoping to upload the daily vlogs around two, three o'clock in the afternoon and upload the normal Supercars of London videos coming at six, seven o'clock in the evening. And I'm creeping up on 1,000 videos as well, so I'm not far off. So um, let me know your thoughts and comments on what I should do for 1,000 videos on YouTube. I'm over 155,000 subscribers, which I can't believe. So thank you all for all of the support. Make sure that you subscribe if you're new and you've enjoyed this video. I know this car isn't a supercar, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun chasing supercars in this. And you can park it anywhere. That is the brilliant thing about this car. So thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned and I will see you uh, tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow and the next day and the next day because the daily vlogs start today. This is the June challenge of vlogging every single day from June the 1st until the end of the month. Then I go to Portugal with my family and then I'm back on the daily vlogs as July and August kick off in central London. My car so that you can see how slow it is. <laughs> Let's go. Okay.